always putting PC players against consoles. Who hasn't done that already? And quite frankly, I'm disgusted with the discussion. <laughs> Sorry. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. The actually feel more entitled because of the platform you play has been a serious dead horse beaten one too many times. People saying it should have never went to consoles got a lot of nerve. This is not your game, it's EA's. If they want to expand and port the game through a straw hat, then so be it. And to be those saying just get a PC, well buy me one then. <laughs> What is up guys, this is your boy Sipsier Simmer and today I have more information regarding The Sims 4. Before we start, please show some love to Kirsty Chris on Twitter. She was able to post this thread for us and give us more information on the build controls and just everything with console. Um, so please go show her some love. So the same dude that talked about the face glitch uh, is the same guy, EA underscore Cade. He talks about what's going on with console. So let's get into it. I'm not going to waste any more time. I want to know what's going on with this says hey all we hear you and we're working behind the scenes on this as we speak changing control schemes is not an easy task and requires a lot of time and effort i hope to have something to share on this front soon while i don't have anything to share currently i do want you to know that we haven't forgotten about you in this thread or the a ahq thread um okay interesting so again like i said in my previous video which was like a day ago uh, at this point it doesn't matter if um they're fixing the controls or they give us any type of information don't get me wrong i think we all knew in the back of our heads that they were working on console controls but there wasn't any communication there wasn't any transparency what i find weird about this whole thing is that he posted it on a thread and they didn't make a public statement about this people have been asking constantly about console controls and i feel like this would have answered a lot of questions and just put people's minds at ease again this is nothing to write home about like this is not like a celebration um because there's still so much vague stuff that we don't know and, and it's like bro at the end of the day like you guys did this to yourselves like no one told you to build or fix uh console console controls for building it doesn't make any sense like why would you guys mess up your own game and then take this long to fix it and then not give any transparency or communication it doesn't make any sense but thanks to you guys i'm finally glad there's just some type of hope i don't know why this is not a public statement i think because they want to wait until they figure out something i don't understand why the controls weren't tested before they released that update um it just kind of shows again that they don't test anything and <laughs> I'm just, at this point like i'm not like surprised um again it's just it's just the same shit it's the same shit and i'm tired of talking about them not testing it's just obvious and apparent and they just they again they need to step it up bro i am so tired of just the same stuff there's always something broken because no one's testing anything i don't know why people defend the stuff that they do now on that last video that i posted about the ea app preventing people from uh you know updating their games if you haven't watched that please check it out um i also asked which was better pc or console and again i just want to uh clarify i'm not trying to put like console players against pc players i'm just talking about what is the better experience or what is more convenient because just because pc has better graphics better frame it doesn't make it a easier experience to play because you know not everyone can afford a gaming computer and if you don't have a good computer a console might be better in that case so that's kind of like the questions i want to kind of get flowing but i was very 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 biased to to pc um i was practically telling people drop console and get a pc but again i want to be able to play the sims 4 on console or just any type of simulation game i love using a controller to play video games in general but in the time that we're in now where it obviously isn't a good time to be playing simulation games on console i wouldn't recommend it like i wouldn't go out and buy a pack right now just because there's too many unknowns there's not enough communication like i've been saying also i wish they had more uh maxless monthlies and other stuff to kind of keep us up to date on on this you know issues but i i, I understand why they don't do it it's because they're scared that they're gonna get you know called out and obviously they want to do with all that backlash and again they're human too um i'm not gonna jump on there and start you know going crazy but there's a lot of people who um are rightfully frustrated and they're not gonna probably hold back because you know they've been experiencing so much issues so again i kind of get why they're not doing live streams anymore or just you know answering questions or kind of just in general just doing more to communicate i don't i don't agree with it at all i think they should you know take some heat and apologize and answer questions so people have more transparency and they're not just you know scratching their heads all the time but i kind of get it from their point of view why they don't i guess do it because they're scared or whatever 
I mean, obviously, I'm not them, so I don't know the real reason, but I feel like that's why. Again, I don't agree with it at all. They should, but it is what it is. A lot of you guys had different responses on the whole uh, PC versus console debate or topic, whatever you want to call it, discussion. I'm going to read some of them here and just kind of talk about what you guys were saying, because I actually like really liked what you guys had to say about it. And it actually put a lot of stuff into perspective for me, because I didn't I, again, I don't have console. I don't have the Sims 4 for console, so I don't really know what you guys know. I'm just going off of what you guys tell me and like other stuff that I see. We have someone by the name Mariana uh, the, who commented. My bad if I said your name wrong. She said, console player here. Build by is not broken for every console player. I'm still able to build just fine and play the game. I will say that some of the controls are wonky and need to be improved though. I'm able to get past the cursor sticking to the UI and use my cursor freely. I know my experience isn't everyone's experience, but I think there are more factors I play than the control update. Different problems span from different types of PS4s and PS5s. And I agree with that. And thank you for, you know, putting that into perspective for me. Cause um, I didn't know that it was like, I mean, I knew not every single person was experiencing um, this issue with the build by controls and just like performance and all that. I knew, I, but I thought it was like a majority of people were experiencing that. So thank you for letting me know. And she's right. Um, I feel like if you have like just a generic regular PS4, I feel like you're gonna struggle with the sims 4 for sure um it's interesting though not everyone is experiencing this so yeah it does vary from console to console just like how with pc it varies from pc to pc if you have a low spec uh computer you're gonna have more issues with the sims 4 versus me for example not to like you know a brag or anything but um <laughs> now i'm joking but i have a gaming pc it's very high end like high end to shit like i sold I don't want to say this, but I sold my soul to get my PC. That's all I'm going to say. I know you're probably like, what the hell are you doing to be selling your soul for a PC? Listen, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, but it's high end. I don't experience a lot of issues um, that other people experience. So it really does uh, vary, uh, vary from, you know, like system to system, console to console, all that stuff. We have another comment here by Sarah C. I'm on PS5 and when that happens, I press the pad on the controller to toggle, then go back into live mode and it runs fine for me. I play other simulation games that were PC first. Uh, whenever there's a problem, they are fixed within a week. No lie or exaggeration. Yeah, and it's true. I think PC players get catered better than console players. It's a known fact. Look what happened with the face glitch and the loose tooth stuff. I mean, loose tooth stuff took like time, but the face glitch was fixed like within a week, you know? And they did it so quick and they were so transparent about it. They were like, no, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Don't worry. You're going to get your candy. Like, you know what I mean? Like they were so quick to like fix it compared to console where the build controls and the performance hasn't been updated. Um, not to say it hasn't been updated, but it hasn't been any transparency. It hasn't been, it wasn't a quick fix. It's still going on till this day. So I agree with her. Like it's, it's facts, bro. And that's one of the reasons why I said I would go with PC over console just because, um, PC gets treated better. It's a sad thing. It's not fair at all, but it is what it is. We have another comment here by Ashley Sims. Sims 4 for PC should have never went on console. What would have been better is a busting out type of game with Sims 4 graphics. I think if done correctly, it would have been a hit. Bro, bro, bro. This is comment. I don't care. I'm sorry. I love you guys, but this is comment of the day. It is facts. That is, I didn't even think of that, bro. I did not, I did even not think of it. What? That's not even English. I did not think of that, but it's facts. This is, this, hear me out, hear me out. If they'd done a spinoff of the Sims 4 game and they did it like, um, how it was of like the Sims 1 or the Sims busting out, but no, it's facts though. If they had done like a, like a Sims 4 type of busting out game, I think that would have been way better than putting the PC version of Sims 4 on console because I agree. I don't think it should have ever came to console it doesn't make any sense like it just doesn't you can tell that this is a pc game trying to work on console like the other person said it just doesn't work and they had just done a spin-off where it was like the sims one like 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 whoever came up with this doing spin-off versions of the pc games were smart don't get me wrong i wanted to play those uh you know original games like on console but i was never mad at the console versions of those games i think they should have done something like that Ashley, you are lit, bro. I I totally agree with that. That would have been such a cool thing to see, man. And it was such a missed opportunity. I didn't even think of that, but it is such a missed opportunity. We have this last comment here by Sims4. Always putting PC players against consoles. Who hasn't done that already? And quite frankly, I'm disgusted with the discussion. <laughs> Sorry. Holy shit. Okay, hold on.
The Ashley feel more entitled because of the platform you play has been a serious dead horse beaten one too many times. People saying it should have never went to consoles got a lot of nerve. This is not your game, it's EA's. And if they want to expand and port the game through a straw hat, then so be it. And to be those saying just get a PC, well buy me one then. <laughs> I actually own a high-end gaming computer, but I don't enjoy playing The Sims on it. As stated, I prefer it on console. Period. 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 Our American dollars were just as green as the PC's players' dollars when we choose to buy these games and all its packs. And this goes for all the pirators complaining as well. First of all, Sims 4, I need you to bring it back down because you're a little bit too spicy for me. Okay? You're like jalapeno. I need you to be like spicy mustard because you, you 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 doing you're doing too much with the spiciness i can't handle all this spice <laughs> god damn that comment was full of passion and heat i felt the spiciness from all the way over here bro oh my god um no listen i'm not like i said in the video before i'm not saying consoles inferior and i actually find it interesting that this that the sims 4 i'm just gonna call you sims or this person i'm just gonna call you this person because it's gonna get confusing um has a gaming pc a high-end one too it's not like some laptop or whatever or like a macbook like this is like a high-end pc that they claim to have that they do have sorry i didn't mean to say it like that and they choose to play on console so again it just really does come down to personal preference um i i i, I do feel like um you know obviously pc is better in many ways i've seen a lot of other comments uh agreeing with that as well um but it's cool to see people's different perspectives on this but again thank you guys so much for commenting on all this stuff um again i don't want anyone to feel like i'm you know shitting on console because i'm not i want to be able to play a simulation game on console or at least use a controller and play on pc eventually in the future so hopefully that will you know finally happen but uh, guys thank you so much i hope you guys have a really good weekend i'm gonna be having a really good week i'm gonna be playing some some jedi survivor bro and this eating good food man i've been been limiting myself and i want to just enjoy life but thank you guys so much for the support um i know you guys were saying you had a lot of issues with the uh uh ea app and i hope you guys do get that resolved the e app is just garbage and trash and it's just busted and i hope they eventually either get rid of it or fix it or whatever bro i don't know but yeah my heart goes out to you guys who uh currently can't update your games it's definitely not fair um so hopefully there is a change and they i don't know fix it soon like they have been with everything else but yeah this has been your boy superior simmer stay cool stay awesome stay simming um and have a good day